the fast emerging market for electrically powered vertical takeoff and landing aircraft now seems to have all the sense of urgency of a gold rush. Dozens of startup ventures are eagerly striving to get their cutting edge designs certified to enter service. The field also includes established aerospace industry players, including Airbus, which is advocating a somewhat more patient approach in view of the many challenges the so-called EVATOL sector faces to fulfill its potential. Airbus's Urban Air Mobility Division is working on two designs that it hopes will prepare the way for its first EVATOL model. It does not intend either the single-seat Vahana or the four-seat City Airbus aircraft to ever enter commercial service, but it believes that the lessons it is learning about factors such as electrical power, autonomous flight controls, and the aerodynamics of vertical takeoff and landing will be vital in ensuring the success of the new design it quietly started working on in early 2019. The biggest problem of these machines is that the regulatory framework doesn't exist uh, yet. This, is, uh, this includes a, a set of new technologies that are also new for regulators, uh, which means uh, we as industry, we really need to closely cooperate with them so that we're able to put a safe products certified out there. For Airbus, EVATOL aircraft are a powerful response to public demand for air transport to be more environmentally friendly. It views both the Vahana and the City Airbus programs as useful platforms for lower carbon green technology that could eventually find its way onto larger aircraft. At the same time, the European group insists that to have a lasting future, EVATOL aircraft will have to win public acceptance by avoiding unacceptable noise and visual pollution and also by achieving full integration with other modes of transportation and city infrastructure. But above all, Airbus insists that safety must be the number one criteria for determining whether and how the EVATOL dream can be achieved and sustained. And this is why it is advocating a somewhat more cautious approach than some would-be pioneers who are pushing hard for early adoption. We will also require uh, integration with air traffic control. And uh, more importantly, in the future, uh, when autonomy is there, we will also need to have systems that allow autonomous vehicles uh, to be uh, sharing the airspace uh, with uh, more traditional piloted vehicles, which represents as well an additional challenge. So we believe that uh, uh, this is going to happen. I think uh, uh, we need to stop uh, dreaming. Uh, we need to start making. Uh, and uh, we believe that we need to be also socially responsible because safety is going to be priority number one. Um, this is an all new story. Urban air mobility uh, was already in place in New York, uh, you know, in the 60s, 70s, where people were flown with helicopters uh, to the center of Manhattan from the airports. And that market didn't flourish uh, because of safety issues. We don't want to repeat history again. We want to take uh, every step uh, and don't take court shortcuts uh, because uh, we believe that if we endanger uh, safety, this uh, will close that market and it will not open up again. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.